Hi, welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess, and today I'll be showing you how I calibrate my pH meter. First off, it's been about a year since I got my pH meter and I calibrated it. I haven't calibrated it since, so I know it's overdue. This meter will have to be calibrated multiple times a year since I know that the numbers will drift over time. To see how far my pH meter has drifted, I have a pre-made pH standard solution. This is in a pH of 7. So if I put the meter in this solution, it should read 7. If not, then it definitely needs calibration. I put the meter in, and it looks like it's going to read 6.2. This meter definitely needs to be calibrated. So to calibrate this specific meter, it needs three calibration powders. One in a 4.0 solution, one in a 6.86 solution, and one in a 9.18 solution. During this calibration process, you can use two of the powders, the 4 and the 6.86, to get a decent amount of accuracy. If you want it to get to an accuracy of 0.01, then that's where the 9.18 solution comes into play. The more solutions we are calibrating, the more accurate the meter should be. To start off, I need 250 mils of distilled water. Then I pour the calibration powders in and stir until it's dissolved. Then I take my pH meter, I rinse the electrode, and I put it in the 6.86 solution. I press the calibration button and hold it down for about 3 to 5 seconds until it blinks, and it should blink 6.86. After that, it should have calibrated the solution to 6.86, and we should be ready to go. I'll rinse the electrode again one more time with distilled water, then I put it in the 4.0 solution. I press the calibration button and hold again, then press it one more time, then it should flash from 6.86 to 4. After that, it should read the solution as 4. I rinse the electrode one more time, and I'm going to put it in the 9.18 solution. I press and hold the calibration button for 3 to 5 seconds, then I press it once, and then I press it one more time to get it to flicker to the 9.18 calibration mode. For my solution, it looks like it's reading an error, so I may have made my 9.18 solution incorrectly, so I'm going to try this again. So I'm remaking my 9.18 solution by first pouring in the powder, and then adding 250 mils of distilled water. Then I'm going to stir until everything is dissolved. So now I'm rinse the electrode one more time, put it and test it, see if it will calibrate. And it's putting an error once again. So let's go back and see how accurate my pH meter is now. I'm going to pour out the pH standard solution of 7 once again, and hopefully it should read 7 this time. So I'm putting my meter in. And it looks like, yeah, it got 7. Okay, so I also have other pH standards, so I'm going to pour a solution of 4 and see if it reads 4. Okay, it looks like we got 4. And I also have one for a pH of 10. Let's see if we can get this one. Okay, it looks like it got 9.78. It's close, but not quite. Let's do one more test. I want to see what my tap water is. So based on the standards and my calibration, I trust that whatever I read in my tap water is going to be pretty accurate. So for my tap water, it reads 7.65. Okay, I trust it. I mean, my water is pretty hard here in California. So based on this little calibration process, I would say that this pH meter is pretty accurate between 4 and 7. As it gets further away, I think that the electrode algorithm may be inaccurate. And that's why when it tries to read a pH of 10, it doesn't quite get there. But since the pH is on a logarithmic scale, I allow for some inaccuracies. I think this pH meter is still pretty useful for my purposes. I don't need it to be as accurate to the 0.01 degree. But if I have it as one-tenth of a value, that's good enough for me.
In the future, I know that I'll have to test my pH meter against the pH standard to make sure that I'm getting an accurate 7.0 reading each time. That way I know if my pH meter needs to be changed and if I need to calibrate it at any point. If I were to get a new pH meter, I would not purchase this one. I think the calibration powders are a little bit tricky to use and I'm not sure I'm getting an accurate reading. I would like a pH meter that calibrates according to the pH standards, which is 4, 7, and 10. That way I know that these pre-made solutions are completely accurate and when I put the meter in, it should read true. Then I wouldn't have to mess with creating these powdered solutions and guess that it's correct or if I've made them properly. It's already pre-made. I know that pH meters that do calibrate to these types of solutions tend to be a little bit more expensive. So instead of this cheap $20 pH meter, I would probably have to get something at least starting in the $50 range and up to get a little bit more accuracy. But for now, I'm okay using this pH meter, and until it starts to drift terribly, I'm not going to change it. So that's how I calibrate my pH meter, and I hope this was helpful. I tried to make this as simple as possible, but if anything is unclear, if you have questions, please let me know in the comments. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Attainable Green, for the latest updates. And hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Bye!